guys and what's up and today I'm going to show you how to make this six faced 3d shape which is called a cube so in today's video we will need chart paper a ruler a pencil scissors and glue so let's get started okay I'm making so I'm making a cube of four centimeters but it can be longer if you have a longer chart paper and just to remind you it can be of any color uh, I just wanted yellow so I bought yellow but it can be any, any color orange green red I don't know you decide so I chose four centimeters to be accurate so now, first we have to draw a square, a 2D normal square, and here. Okay, so the first, so, uh, so the lines you are drawing right now must be the length that you chose. Uh, because I chose four centimeters. I am drawing lines of four centimeters, and but it can be of any other length, five, six, seven. It can be any. any. So every line must be of four centimeters, and and it can't and it can't make a difference of one even a single millimeter longer it, it won't make it perfect so the last line in the square will test if you done everything right if the last line you're going to draw is four centimeters then you did everything right if not uh, draw it again you have probably made a mistake okay so first square drawn and now I have to draw the rest of five squares okay you know it's taking a pretty long time I'm going to do with magic so as you can see it's done and I made these small shapes here. Uh, you'll find out later what are what these are for. And for now, it is done. So now we have to take our scissors and cut it. So now we cut the shape we made. So now as you can see I am cutting the shape hole and I am also cutting the little shapes that I made uh, that I made here. They are going to be an important part. So uh, the cutting is complete. I have uh, cut the shape uh, out of the chart and if you want to draw on this go ahead draw uh, draw um, draw everything you want here and, and so uh, I don't want to color here so I will just make it plain so now the last step is to no not the last step but we have to fold uh, fold everything here uh, from where the line are we have to fold the shapes even the squares here and make sure if you if you have drawn anything on your cube uh, fold it on the opposite side like if I drawn something here I will uh, I will fold it on the other side 
and then unfold it back do the same with the other um, other shapes and squares and so when we are finished with the folding you will uh, and now we need glue so now we have to put the glue on the shapes that we made not on the squares but on the shape so this this part will go here and okay like that and and on the shapes here here mm -hmm. okay it might be it might be loosey but don't worry it will dry soon mm, put more glue on it if you if it's troubling you and uh, yeah like that so Okay, like that, we have to do with the, with the right side and push it in well. And that, oh, if there are any outsides, glue them again and, and yeah. It's a sticky situation, but we have to do it. But after it will look pretty, trust me, it will look pretty after. If you have drawn anything on it. Okay, once the right side is done, we go to the left side. Some glue here too, and some glue here, and some glue here. Okay, so now our six faced cube is ready and and if you want, uh, before gluing, you can put, uh, you can make a hole here and then glue it and then put your pen and pencils or other school materials here. Um, it's like a pencil. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a, a pencil cap which you put pencil in it. So, it's done. I hope you will enjoy today's video. Please subscribe and hit the like button and share with your friends so they can uh, to make this six-faced 3D shape. And name.